Hi everyone, it's me again. It's been a minute, or maybe five. <laughs> but anyways, I just got back from Calgary and I had um, a week trip there with my husband and we got back now. It's October 28th and there's snow everywhere. It looks like Christmas outside. But anyhow, I picked up a few things while I was over there and I thought I might show you what I took in my little travel kit as long as the things that I picked up. Hope you enjoy the video. First off, we went to Ikea and I picked up some things for my pegboard um, organization things that I have. And I also like these little guys because they fit in here like that. I'm gonna move all of my pencils into here. I already have one of these setups, but um, I just want to make everything accessible to me, <laughs> like closer instead of me having to go and dig into into other drawers and stuff. So that's a plan with those. And um, got some extra hooks, this little guy, and one of these like desk mat things that I thought I would put underneath my uh, paints when I'm painting because as you can see, I keep staining my desk then having to clean it and uh yeah it's kind of like counterintuitive to have a white desk when you're painting but um i like it so this thing can get stained and then i don't have to worry about it so these are the things i brought with me on our little road trip i brought two sketchbooks i've been doing a drawtober challenge and um i've been doing it in this little guy here um I'm making a video about it, so it's coming. I'm a little bit, bit behind, but uh, there's a little preview of some of the stuff I've been doing. Painting and gouache mostly, actually, exclusively. And I was doing a lot of the planning in here, so I was using some tracing paper to transfer my drawings into there. And I have just been finding this very practical recently as a palette. I find it a little tricky with gouache to like not make it too watery when I'm using this for some reason, but um, it's really handy to travel with. So that's that. And then this is my little tote of art supplies that I use when we do road trips. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. You don't need that much, but I just like fill what I can. <laughs> And then the extra stuff is just extra, right? So let's take a look at what I brought with me. So this is a coffee coaster that I always have on my desk. Um, but I was also using it as the stencil for um, the frame of the illustrations I was making. So I brought that along. It's also nice to have a coaster scissors always handy sharpener this one's from Muji and I really recommend it and it's tiny an eraser um, this is a, a little pipette that I use to fill in this guy here and that's what I use to like re-wet um, my paints or to keep them kind of moist so it's just a little spritzer and I brought some brushes with me and then I picked up a few while I was there so um, what did I get I got these two I got this half inch flat and then this three eighths angled brush from silver brush which I've never tried before it's quite nice so far and then these are the other brushes I brought with me and I always use a towel I have a few of these around my desk or in my drawers and I just um, use them for dabbing off water and I'm just used to having a little towel by my station so I always uh, find it handy to just wrap my brushes in there too, keeps them safe and be careful with the tips, right? 
And then a little palette knife to um, take the paint out of that fellow there. A magenta, some India ink glue stick. These little guys to uh, keep my sketchbooks open. And I didn't realize I had a bunch of like midliners in my bag, in my purse. So they came along for the ride. <laughs> I didn't use them. Some washi tape. And a bunch of whole buying gouache. So I tried to like um, do limited palettes and for the first, um, I would say maybe 15 paintings, I think I used the same colors, but then I was just like, mm, getting a little bored maybe. And so I brought some other colors with me. So for most of the paintings I only use like four colors, but mix and match them. I didn't use all of these, but I brought them along. And then I brought a bunch of pens and pencils, but then some of these are part of my art haul. So we'll have to move these around that right way. Lip balm, because you know, I need it. Um, this is a great little moochie container. And uh, I just put my kneaded eraser in there because they get really I don't know, if you leave it like loose in here, it's gonna get full of pencil shavings and little pieces of dirt, so it just keeps it clean. And then I just had a selection of pencils. These are kind of my go-tos, and I was using this one a lot too, and some pens and things. I've been meaning to, um, to make stuff with these my, my husband uses these a lot and i just have never gotten into it and i think i should i do enjoy inking with a brush but i i usually use like a paintbrush and, and dip it in the paint in the ink rather but i want to try to get into using pens and um yeah a bunch of other pens that i didn't really use so those are the things I brought with me. And that's the stuff I bought. So let's take a look at that. This is a constantly changing rotation of things that like, I'll just stick things in there that I want to make myself use. And also just like the, the favorites that I always use, you know, so like there'll always be a Prisma cold erase in there. And um, yeah, I kind of just like cycle in and out stuff. So these are my new friends. Um, I just got a few refills of the Prismacolor Cola Race because I'm afraid they're going to discontinue the colors that I want. <laughs> and I picked up this, so I, I usually use rose and um, I've gotten into using some vermilion. I like the brown, I like the indigo, and then uh, M. Hughes likes the purpley one, so I thought I would give it a try. And um, I got some Prismacolor colored pencils in some of the blue colors that I was running out of. And then I picked up a color, a couple of um, Caranda Nash um, watercolor pencils. Like I don't really intend to use them as watercolor pencils, but I guess there's that option as well. But I really like the way they work as colored pencils. <laughs> And then um, some uh, polychromos colors, which uh, are very nice. 
I have like three of those. Most of the colored pencils that I have is a set that I've had forever. <laughs> and uh, they're Prismacolor colored pencils. But recently I found out that the difference between the Prismacolor and the Polychromos is that these are wax-based pencil crayons and these are oil-based pencil crayons. So they behave differently and have different properties. I don't use colored pencils enough to know that. I don't really blend and paint with colored pencils, but that's interesting and um, something to note. But um, I kind of got similar colors as you can probably tell because I kind of had this idea that I wanted to do some sketching in my sketchbook with um, markers and colored pencil. So I have an idea. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I've never used alcohol pencil pens or markers rather. Um, I know my sister uh, had some in design school and I've played around with them a little bit, but I didn't really get into them. Um, so I don't really know much about uh, Copic or alcohol markers. So if you have any tips, leave them below. But I, I just wanted to kind of do a, a marker colored pencil thing, like make shapes and kind of a way to like work on silhouettes. So that's my idea. And that's why I kind of like got some colors that play fun together. I figure if you have colors that you are excited about, you're gonna use it more. And then I got some of these little guys. So they're just Posca pens, but the felt tip fine point, like they have two different um, uh, versions of this size of pen. And um, I just thought it would be handy with some um, gouache painting when I want to put in like little, little highlights or dark points. So anyways, having fine marker pens are handy. So that's what I got, but I also picked up some paper. So I picked up three little notebooks. Um, one is a craft paper. Uh, this is gray toned and this is black. And I just wanted to do some gouache painting on toned paper because I've seen it and I think I've tried it before. Like I did have a toned sketchbook at some point, but um, yeah, I've never tried gray or black. I've had like a craft kind of toned paper and I just wanted to give those, those a try. So um, that'll be a video coming up soon, hopefully. Thanks for coming to my haul and uh, I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my little travel kit. Um, we'll hopefully have some videos coming up playing with these things. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for my um, Drawloween video. I did um, Mab, Mab's Drawloween Club. I'm not sure if some of you follow her, but there's some stuff. So I did a lot of like stuff in this sketchbook and then moved it over into the little guy. And um, yeah, there's stuff coming up with that. So I hope I'll see you at the next video. Like and subscribe and uh, happy Halloween, everybody. There was a capsule um, toy store in the Chinook Mall in Calgary and I got these guys and they're absolutely adorable. They're gonna live somewhere on my desk. Ooh, so cute.